New for you this morning, a valley couple is sipping on success. They're turning a hobby into a thriving business, now recognized as the best small business in the entire nation, and they are raising a glass to mead. It's quite a distinction there. Tomorrow's <laughs> International Mead Day, but do you know what mead is? John Genovese sharing the story behind Superstition Meadery. And John, you had the chance to see how it is made firsthand. This is a great assignment. Yeah, definitely is. And this is something a lot of people don't know much about, including myself, until I went up to Prescott. But this Arizona company is on the fast track, exposing more people across the country and across the world to a drink that dates back millenniums. These are 55 gallon drums of honey. The first ingredient in an old world drink on a new resurgence. For Father's Day one year, I got Jeff a homebrew kit. I started making pretty good stuff and my meads were always better than my beers. <laughs> and when enough friends told Jeff and Jennifer Herbert they should start selling it, they did. In 2012, the couple moved their family from the valley north to Prescott and founded Superstition Meadery. Mead is, by definition, fermented honey, honey being the primary fermentable sugar in the, in the, in the recipe, right? But we can also use any fruit, herb, or spice as a winery to, to add that to our mead. Over seven years, they've made more than 200 different beverages, expanding production from 300 to a forecasted 40,000 gallons by the end of the year. By volume, the couple says they're now the largest wine producers in the state. In one day, with four people working, we can fill 5,000 bottles. The company's products available across the country and now in 36 countries across the world. The rapid expansion meant hiring on new staff. Superstition now has more than 20 employees. We're always coming up with new products, new ideas. And a few months ago, Jeff and Jennifer were recognized in Washington, D.C. as the U.S. Small Business Administration's Persons of the Year. To be recognized really validated all our hard work and everything we put into this. All the learning and mistakes that we've made really came together at this one pinnacle point in our lives and in our careers. Amazing, they say, how many people have given their hard ciders and honey wines a try. Success working in an industry even they admit they could have never imagined. It's really changed our lives um, in, in so many ways and created so many opportunities. Opportunities. Now, before all this, Jeff was a Phoenix firefighter. Jennifer worked for the State Health Department. Now, the company already has a tasting room in downtown Prescott. Next spring, they're set to open the first mead and food pairing restaurant in the world here in Phoenix. They're also launching a hard seltzer, so expect more things to come, guys. And really cool people and all their employees, they get to experiment with the flavors, try things out, and uh, come up with their own recipes, and that's what eventually goes to the stores. There you go. It's a perk of the job, right? I mean, you got to sample it. You got to yeah. know what to tell the customers. Road trip, yeah. anyone? Yeah. And I exactly. love downtown Prescott. Great it's location. Awesome. John, this is great. A tasting yeah. room, too. We can't wait to try it out. Thanks Thank for that. Thank you. That's cool. It goes to show that you can turn.